It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm with... Sanaya. Sanaya. My name's Rich. This is Joel. So um, we're going to just ask the regular questions we always ask. Y'all already know what time it is. What do you think the purpose of life is? Uh, I feel like everybody serves a different purpose. I feel like there's no general purpose of life. I feel like, like me personally, my purpose might be to save the homeless. You might have to provide food in Africa. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's different purposes. Yeah. Where do you, where do you think our soul goes when we die? Uh, depending on how you were when you were alive. So heaven or hell. Oh, so you believe in heaven and hell? So do you believe in Jesus? Mm -hmm. I do. So you're, you're a Christian? Yeah. That's cool. Me too. Yeah. So when did you get saved? Um, I got saved when I was like 12, 11. Okay. And, and I was younger. Were you filled with the Holy Spirit? I feel like, yeah. I was in church a lot. Like I was on like the praise dance team. Like I did, you know, stuff like that. Like I was very involved with church. But, wow. Yeah. Have you ever seen, a, have you ever had an actual tangible encounter with Jesus? Like a supernatural where you're like, whoa, like yeah. I just met God? Um, I wouldn't say it was like a whoa moment, but I did like have an encounter with him at church one time. Okay. And you felt, you with felt the prophet, something yeah. with the prophet, prophesied over you. Yes. And he said that you're, 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 you're going to be a prophetess. Um, he said that, um, my wisdom was beyond my years. He said that, um, it was a lot of personal stuff that he said. I never met him before. So that's how I knew like it was God. So, um, yeah, he said a lot of things that I didn't even know about myself till he said it. So, yeah. Do you feel helpless sometimes? Yes. So I just heard the Spirit tell me you deal with helplessness. And you feel like you're, you're alone. Sometimes. Isolated. Like you, like you by yourself. Yeah. So I will tell you this. The Lord wants to free you from that feeling because it's a demonic spirit. It comes in through our sin. So I was encountered by God a few years ago. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I was never raised in the church. I was in the dope game. I was deep in the voodoo. I was deep in the Santeria. I was a warlock. I was moving. I'm from Broward, so I was, but I was moving hundreds of pounds of weed around the. I'm already knowing how Broward is. <laughs> that was my life. I'm, I'm older. I, you know, I'm, I'm before Kodak. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I know his older brothers and all that. So I was just deep into this, the enemy's plans, and God encountered me. I studied Islam, Buddhism, voodoo, Santeria, all that. God delivered me, cast the demons out of me. I got a wife. I got a two-year-old and a one-year-old. Gave me a house. I'm actually a pastor now. Wow. I actually dressed like this to blend in so people would accept my interviews. Right. I understand. And yeah. also to let people know it's not about religion. Mm -hmm. It's about relationship with God. Right. I feel like the Lord brought us here to tell you that he misses you. You've been very distant. You've been very stuck on a man. And he don't want you, but you want him. Recently? Like as of right now? The one before that. Oh okay. Oh yeah. The one you want the one you have now you don't really love. I, I do. Not like the one from before. You see? I, I think I do. It's a soul tie. It's the it's, it, there's, there's there's a spirit room and there's angelic and demonic beings. And we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta make sure we write with God. So that they don't they don't manipulate our life because you're called you're called to prophesy like he is like the prophet you met you're really called and you look for that comfort in men and it's like every guy every time you go to another guy it's like the same thing you actually have you come with the right love and the right heart but they don't and you wonder why and you feel helpless and you feel isolated and it's like a repeated cycle it's a demonic operation against your life the devil wants to turn you out and turn. So that's confirmation. Once you get turned out, there's a spirit called Jezebel. And once Jezebel comes in your life, say, come on. Things will be turned around, right? You could turn around through, like right now, I could pray for you. And you could, and all you got to do, and it, and it might be crazy, I know you got these guys here and all that, but it's repentance, it's change. Like repentance is not just saying it. We have a church and everyone's young. How old are you, like 21? 18. 18, oh my goodness. We got a whole church full of 18, 17, 21, 22, and they don't look like Christians. They look, they they come from all types of, like bro, they, they actually have drip, like they swag. Like they actually, most of the people in our church shop, shop like they're sneakerheads. They already got all, like, 
You know what I'm saying? They tell me don't. They tell me pastor don't shop here because they, they they tax you. You know what I'm saying? Impossible case. So what I'm saying is you have a husband waiting for you. A true husband that's gonna love you the way you love others. What the devil wants to do is put you through so many different trials that you stop loving. I was told that as well by the same prophet. By the same prophet. That's the Holy Ghost telling me right now. I can hear it. I'm actually seeing visions as I'm speaking to you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you right now. Come on, let's go over here. So that you want to come over here. You can, you, you can, you can let her go. You can let her go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, we're gonna pray for you. We're gonna get them demons out your life. I was sent here. I'm gonna tell you something too. I can, I can release it now. I am a prophet. I was sent by the Lord here strategically to talk to you. As soon as we walked over there, he said it too. It's her. We seen everybody in the store, but you were highlighted. The Lord had to send someone like me. Look how I look to talk to you so you'll get it through your head. You got to change. Okay, I'm going to pray for you now. Right here, it's perfect. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now against every demonic spirit. I command every spirit of depression and witchcraft to come off of her mind right now. In the name of Jesus, every Jezebelic operation breaks right now by the blood of Jesus. I pray right now, Father God, you give her peace and love. I break every soul tie over her life by the blood of Jesus. Lord, she's called to be a leader in this remnant this last hour. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, you fill her with your love right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every chain breaks right now in this store at her job. Lord, you sent us here strategically for your daughter. Thank you, Jesus. She's going to be saved, have a husband, have a, a real life before she has children, before she makes that mistake. Have you? You haven't had an abortion? The enemy's plan is to get you to do that. This is, there's, 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 a whole, there's, a, there's a whole hit on your head because of the gift. Because you're, you're actually called... Like I've seen, a whole, a whole, I've seen a whole vision of you going to an abortion clinic. Has that happened? But I see. You're thinking about it now. I'm not pregnant though, but I, I thought I was, and I was thinking about it. That's what I seen, and the Lord was telling me, He spared you. But he, the minute you do that, you're actually gonna allow. You're giving the right to a demonic spirit to enter you, fully. You're not fully on Jezebel. Like she hasn't fully got a grip of you. She's trying to build into you, get into you. It's a witch. The abortion clinics are whole demonic temples. They got principalities over them. I seen it with my own eyes in the spirit. You have to change. You have to cut this guy off. You have to cut this guy off. And you need your husband is literally waiting for you. You're a worshiper. You come to our church. You'll be on the t worship team. You'll be. You'll have. Bro, if you've seen the sister, that you've seen the the people in our church, the women, the girls, like just like you, beautiful, makeup. They don't. They're not lame. Like got swag and everything. Do you want to do that? I'm going to give you my Instagram. And I don't blow people up. You hit me up if you want to come. We actually got service tomorrow. We're a non-denominational church. The church we go to, they, they have their service on Sundays. We just have ours on Saturdays because we're renting. All youth. How do you feel right now? It's crazy. <laughs> God is good, right? So what did you just say? I've been following you. For real? One of your friends, I talked to them? I think so. I don't, I don't remember who it was, but I remember somebody telling me about you. I'm not sure. That's not coincidence. And then I get sent in here to talk to you. <laughs> Jesus loves you. That's how much he loves you. He's never going to stop trying to pull you in. But the farther you get away from him, the more the devil has a right over you. You don't want that. There's too many women out here, baby mama, baby depressed, suicidal, want to kill themselves. People killing themselves every day. Suicide's at a high rate. It's a demonic spirit. You know that. So you ready to give up and give your life to Christ? For real? All right, just say this. Say, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe you're the Son of God. I believe in the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross and rose on the third day. I believe you died on the cross and rose on the third day. See, I confess all my sin. I confess all my sin. And I know I'm forgiven. I know I'm forgiven. I need help. I need help. Holy Spirit, come in my life. Holy Spirit, come in my life. And strengthen me. And strengthen me. And guide me. And guide me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Okay, now the next step is coming to our church and getting baptized. You're gonna feel a fire come in you. When you come in and you, you come to the church, you're gonna feel a, a power of the Holy Spirit. You're gonna, be, you're gonna have the ability to not do this stuff no more. The world ain't got nothing for you, you know that. That's why you feel helpless, isolated. God's not gonna let you go. You don't wanna have to fall very bad in order to get to it. You see them baby mamas that have four kids, a whole bunch of relationships, go to church all broke. They have, there's consequences with actions, regardless if you're saved or not. You see what I'm saying? Catch it early so you can have blessings for the future. I wish I caught it early. I'm 32. This is for all those girls, women out there, young women. Y'all see my wife? My wife's, uh, she's, my wife's Haitian from New York. She had to go through a lot. Bo abortions, all that. Me too. Yeah. Are you Haitian? Jamaican, for sure. Y'all see what happened? I encountered her boyfriend at a Hibbit months ago. Prayed for him. He was crying behind the register. Her ex-boyfriend, I'm sorry. She just got encountered. Now her new boyfriend just walked up. Crazy. They're going to come to the church. I don't know what, you gonna, what the Holy Ghost is going to do. Holy Spirit, have your way. But God is real. Miracles.